President Tinubu to United Nations Assembly, I removed corrupt, costly fair subsidy in Nigeria to give confidence to investors. <laughs> now, wow, when old people are lying like this, so since you removed the first subsidy in Nigeria, how is Nigerian economy thriving? What are the benefits so far? What is the state of Nigerian economy now? That is the question they should be they should ask you. Are you telling us that since you removed the first subsidy, Nigeria has been in the best of its economic state? No. No. So this is just a deceit, it's just paying lip service to appeal to the world. But the world knows better economically than you do. That is it. They know Nigeria and they see Nigeria better than you see it. And the governor, the your the the the, the, the Tinubu's administration in the past hundred days or so has been just like uh, Ade Tokumba Pierre described it as hundred days of presidential iniquity. Okay, that has put pace in the hearts and life of people in Nigeria. That is it. The, now he went up for that to say the abolition of first subsidy and the unification of Naira's, Nigeria's foreign exchange rate according to Nigerian President Bola Tinubu are intended to increase investor confidence in the country's economic uh, system. At the United Nations General Assembly on Wednesday, President Tinubu advocated for the need for Africa to overcome foreign exploitation in order to achieve wealth through democratic uh, ideals. Now, the abolition of the first subsidy and the unification of Naira's foreign exchange rates, according to President Bola Ametinubu, are intended to increase investor confidence on the country's economic system. At the United Nations General Assembly on Wednesday, President Tinubu advocated for the need for Africa to overcome foreign exploitation in order to achieve what true democratic, uh, democratic ideals. In his speech, the President addressed the issue of rebuilding trust and reigniting global solidarity, accelerating action on the 2030 agenda and its sustainable development goes towards peace, prosperity, progress, and sustainability for all. Hey, grammar. The Nigerian leader discussed the significance of the Second World War in the establishment of the United Nations, claiming that it was a watershed moment for confidence in international organizations and the perception that mankind had learned the necessary lessons to advance in solidarity and harmony on a worldwide scale. Mm -hmm. So what Tinubu is telling us now is that the removal of the first subsidy in Nigeria and the unification of the foreign exchange rate are all intended to attract uh, foreign investors to Nigeria. <laughs> and he's now trying to use the lessons from the Second World War and the formation of the United Nations as... Uh, you know, a reason for collaboration hmm, among member nations across the globe. Okay. So, but the fact is, since the question you should be asked, just like I said earlier, is since the first subsidy was removed and since the exchange rate was unified, what has been the state of the economy of Nigeria? Transportation increased, exchange rate increased, food cost increased. Okay. Businesses are crashing. Manufacturing is crashing, okay? They can't sustain it. Salaries are not paid. Workers are being ejected because businesses are closing down. Unemployment on the increase. So what else are you benefiting from that action? So now, um, hardship has increased seriously. There are going to be, now you followed suit by increasing school fees when parents don't have job, and now you're going to have more school dropouts. So it means that on education is going to increase, illiteracy is going to increase. Okay, education has been impacted. So since all of these things have been done, the effect has been more of negativities than positives. We have more negative impact than positive impact. In fact, I don't think there has ever been any positive impact following these economic actions that have been taken. So what I what is Tinubu trying to tell us now? Okay. The life is hard, people are hungry, there is no job, there is no money, fuel, people cannot even buy fuel, cars have been dropped. And it's telling us that since you remove a subsidy, consumption rate has reduced from, uh, I think, 49 million 
liters to about 6 million liters a day in Nigeria. The reason is not because you are saving cost. It is because people cannot afford it. There's no money to buy it. If there's money, people will buy it. That is the truth. So you haven't made any positive uh, impact. That is it. Now, Nigeria is suffering and everything in Nigeria is not costly. People are groaning. Nothing is working right now. So there's nothing to write home about. Coupled with the fact that we're now facing a democratic dictatorship under this EPC government and under the Universal government, where all other political parties and all other tribes are being stifled to silence because you want to remain in power continuously. This is not acceptable okay this is not acceptable something has to be done about so all this was now that the united nations general assembly is being deceived is uh i don't know how it's going to work because how can you be making a a statement or making an address in national united nations assembly your own people back at home and abroad are countering what you are saying with comments because all you are saying negates what is happening in your home country, negates the experience of your people under your government in your home country. Everything Tinubu has said in this uh, United Nations General Assembly counters his behavior. Okay? It's the opposite of what he's doing as a president in Nigeria. And so who we believe in? Apart from the tribal and the and the tribal by God and the party psychophants. Who else will believe him? Nobody. Because what is telling the world at that United Nations General Assembly is not reflecting the reality on ground in Nigeria as of today. So what are we trying to say here? Okay. So Tinubu should, I don't know. I just, and the wife is also there trying to preach that Nigerians in diaspora should return back to Nigeria so that he can help build Nigeria and key into his, uh, into his husband's renewed hope agenda for Nigeria. Huh. Who will come? Who anybody that has seen the opportunity to escape this contraption called Nigeria would not want to come back and shouldn't come back. Nigeria now is in the business of destroying young people's destiny by making them drop out of school, not having job for them, and not creating business opportunity for them, not getting them productively engaged. You are destroying the life of Nigerians. A lot of Nigerians that have graduated from university can't even work. How can somebody finish a four or five year course in university only to come out and be doing a job of 10, 15, 20,000 naira per month? What life is that? Can that buy him a house? Can that help him establish his life as a man? No. So what is what is telling the whole world? He's just saying it. That is not what happened in Nigeria. And the whole world knows about it. So they'll just wait for him to speak and go away. That is not what they're there for. They don't even, they don't even have regard for African leaders in that place. That is the first thing. So thank you for listening. Let's have your comment. Tinubu I just told you what the reason he removed first subsidy and unified the foreign exchange rate of Naira. Thank you for listening. Let's have your comment.